What's up guys, Ahad here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your stream deck into a sampler, soundboard, and how to shadow play audio so you can make a soundboard on the fly. To make this video super quick and easy, I'm going to be splitting it up into two parts. One is how to set up the audio, and two is how to use the plugin. I'm going to try to keep things as simple as possible because this is very easy to set up and I don't want anybody getting confused. Okay, let's get into it. So to start off, you guys are going to have to download Voice Meter. It's basically a way to handle all of your audio and make it go into one output so you can have your microphone and your soundboard all into one audio stream. This is not my favorite software, but this is the easiest way to handle all of your audio if you don't have an expensive piece of equipment like a Wave XLR or a Go XLR or something like that. I'll leave a link to this in the description. Once you guys have Voice Meter downloaded and opened up and everything, and just so you don't run into any issues, make sure you restart your PC after installing. Once you're good to go and you have the program open, this is going to be very, very easy. Hardware input one is going to be your microphone. Whatever microphone that you have, whether it is a XLR microphone, a USB microphone, a headset microphone, whatever it is, we are going to go over to hardware input number one. We're going to click this arrow and whatever your microphone is in the selection, we're going to go ahead and click on that. Now, I don't think it matters if it's WDM and MME. Click whichever one just make sure that the actual words are your correct microphone once you guys select your microphone on number one make sure you unhighlight a because a is going to make your microphone go through your headphones and cause a double audio okay now to make your audio go out where people can hear your microphone and they can hear all the sound effects that you add we're going to go over here to hardware out very simple click a1 and select your speakers whatever it is by default if you have a headset it'll show up if you have earbuds, you know, it'll show up like mine. Mine says speakers, whatever it is, select that, that you listen to audio regularly. Now we have the prerequisites done. We're going to go over to the Stream Deck software and set it up. Once you have the Stream Deck software open, this is going to be super simple. You're going to click on this blue plus sign that opens the Elgato store. We're going to go to plugins. We're going to click audio. It's going to be right here at the top. Sound Deck by Geeky Ego. If it's not up here, go ahead and search it. It's on the Elgato store. Go ahead and install that. Once it's installed, you're gonna see it on the right side pane right here, or you can filter it by the search bar. First, we're gonna go over the sampler, then we're gonna go over the soundboard, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to shadow play your audio. More on that when we get there. Okay, so to set up the sampler, it's very simple. Go ahead and drag a few of these sampler tags onto the stream deck, and I'll show you guys how to set them up. Setting up the sampler tags are super easy. We'll go ahead and call this one sample number one, and the capture device is actually going to be my line in microphones. If you guys see there is playback and there's recording, you want to make sure you grab your microphone from the recording side. Sometimes there can be duplicate names. Make sure it's under recording. I'm going to use my line in microphone, which is this. For the output path, we'll go ahead and just, you know, I'll, I'll put it under music. I'll put it in a tutorial folder. Nothing crazy. Encode to MP3 because in case you make a sample so nice that you want to reuse it, you have an MP3 file with it. Normalize volume. I haven't really messed with this, but you know, it keeps everything at a good volume. Nothing has ever been too loud for me while using this. You guys can experiment with it if you like. And the playback device, now this is the most important part. The playback device is going to be the voice meter input. Now the voice meter input for this playback device is going to not only have your microphone, but now all of your soundboard and sampler audio mixed into one. So when you're using a microphone in game, everyone can hear both your mic and the soundboard. So for this one, I'm gonna do a play and overlap so I can constantly spam it and I'll show you guys now. So all you have to do to record your sound is you hold down the button, you talk into your mic immediately, and then you let go. And when you see the green check mark, that means the audio has been processed and it is ready to use. Are you gonna cry? Are you gonna cry? Are you gonna cry? Are you gonna cry? So as you guys can see, my audio will overlap as many times as I click it. Sounds clear, sounds great and it's going through the same audio as my microphone. I'm going to show you guys here on my Discord. You guys can see my green circle lighting up. Now I'm going to play the audio again so you guys can see that it goes through the same audio as my microphone. Are you going to cry? 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 As you guys can see, it goes through the same one and it's all ready to go. Now when you want to clear audio from a sampler, it's very simple. You drag a clear sampler tag somewhere on your stream deck and it's very easy to use. All you have to do is click the clear sampler tag. It's going to start blinking red and then you just select which sample that you want to clear. You click on it and boom, you'll see a green check mark. That means it has been deleted and now you can record a brand new sample on the same button. Since we have our audio on the voice meter already set up, the soundboard is going to be relatively similar. To set up the soundboard, you just have to drag some play audio tags onto your stream deck. And the setup is really simple. We'll title this SB number one, soundboard number one. And then the playback device, we'll do the voice meter input. Action, we'll do play and overlap. The cool thing about the soundboard is you can actually add a bunch of files to one button. So let's say that you wanted to make a button for every single agent and their voice lines. You could add all of their voice lines to one button 
and then randomize it like this order random or sequential and it'll go through every single file every time you press the button but for example sake we're going to select a random audio from this sfx pack yeah we'll use the breach ultimate we're going to go ahead and do an overlap on the breach ultimate and we're going to play it through our voice meter input just so you guys can see that it is working i'm going to have my discord open as well just so you guys can see the green bar is lighting up when i'm talking and you'll see it light up again when i press the button So as you guys can see, it goes straight through the audio. It goes into Discord. It comes right through the microphone. Now, in case you pressed way too many buttons or if you press multiple buttons by accident or you press the wrong one, all you have to do is drag a stop audio tag to your stream deck. So let's say you press this way too many times. All you got to do is press the stop button. All the audio stops. But yeah, so that's it. That's it for the soundboard. So we did the sample. We did the soundboard. Now let me show you guys how to shadow play audio on your computer. Not a lot of people understand what I mean by shadow playing your audio. But what this does is if someone says something funny or someone in game says something funny, you can click this button and it will record the last 30 seconds or 15 seconds or whatever duration you set. It will make it into an audio file. So if you did your playback as default, which would be where all of your audio comes to your computer, which is, you know, your game audio, your Discord audio, your, your music audio, your YouTube video, whatever it is, all the audio on your computer goes to your default capture device. So for the tutorial sake, we're using speakers. Um, but what you can do is you can have your duration set. So, uh, you know, I would usually probably set like 30 seconds or something. And again, output path just for tutorial sake, we'll set a tutorial folder um, and encode to MP3. So, for example, if you guys are in game and someone says something funny and you click this button, I click this button right now. There's a boom. There's a green check mark. And if we check the tutorial folder, boom, there's an audio file. This button will record and clip the last 15, 30, one minute, whatever duration you set into an audio file. You can then use as a sampler, as a soundboard or whatever you would like. I call it shadow playing because shadow play does the same thing, but with video so you can clip your games. So this is kind of like a audio version of shadow play right on your stream deck. Again, it's part of the plugin. So I wanted to include it because I think that this is something that not a lot of people know about. I, I feel like nobody knows about this and it's definitely a powerful tool to have. Now I'm gonna show you guys in Valorant how to select the correct microphone. So you guys have both your microphone and all of your soundboard effects. So when you guys are in Valorant, go ahead and go to settings, go to audio, go to voice chat, and then under input device, go ahead and select voice meter output. Then you do a loopback test. Hello. Working fine. And then um, we'll go ahead and find somebody to test this on just to see if it works. Hello. 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 Is it working? Yeah. Yeah. It sounds nice. Okay. Cool. 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 So uh, does this work? I heard. Yeah, that about settles it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have a lot of fun using this. I was stoked when I found out about it, and it has made my streams 10 times more fun and 10 times more enjoyable. Appreciate you guys watching. If you guys have any questions, tweet at me, Twitter, somewhere here, uh, drop a comment, and hopefully, I'll be making a lot more stuff like this. I have a few different plugins lined up that I want to show you guys. and and, you know, hopefully help you guys bring your streams to the next level. So again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.